Carroll's Law. Charles Law states that volume and temperature are directly proportional under constant pressure. The equation that we will use is V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Kelvin. A temperature scale where zero is the lowest possible value. The equation for Kelvin is the Kelvin temperature equals degree C plus 273, or K equals degree C plus 273. In chemistry, a lot of times you'll have problems that say at STP. What does that even mean? Well, STP means standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature, so if you ever need a salt for the standard temperature, is 0 degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin. Standard pressure is always 1 atm or 1 atmosphere. Did you know? ever leave a soccer ball outside overnight on a cold, cold night, you grab the ball the next morning, it'll seem kind of deflated. But if you bring the ball inside where it's warmer, watch as the ball magically inflates. This is due to the relationship of Charles Law. The principle of Charles' Law is very simple. The systems that we're using in Charles' Law remain at constant pressure. We're going to be comparing volume and temperature. Now the idea in Charles' Law is that as volume increases, so will temperature. Now let's take a look at Charles' Law graphically. We see that on a basic volume versus temperature graph, as volume increases, so will temperature. This gives us just a direct linear increase. Now we're going to solve a couple word problems dealing with Charles' Law. Let's look at problem one. The volume of an ideally behaving gas is 300 liters at 227 degrees Celsius. What volume will occupy at 27 degrees Celsius if pressure and volume remain constant? As stated before, this deals with Charles' Law, which means we're going to be using the equation V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Now let's solve for our knowns and unknowns. We know that V1 equals 300 liters. T1 is given at 227 degrees Celsius. Now when we do Charles' Law problems, we don't use Celsius, we use Kelvin. So now we have to convert Celsius to Kelvin. 227 degrees Celsius plus 273 equals 500 degrees Kelvin. Temperature 2 is given at 27 degrees Celsius. Once again, we have to convert to Kelvin. So let's add 273, which equals 300 Kelvin. Now we have to identify what V2 equals. Plugging our numbers into our equation, V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. We get 300 liters over 500 Kelvin equals V2 over 300 Kelvin. If we isolate our variable, then do the arithmetic, we realize that V2 equals 1.8 liters. Here's another word problem. The gas is collected and found to have 4.73 liters at 35.0 degrees C. What will its volume be at STP? First, we got to realize that this is a Charles Law problem, and so we need V1 divided by T1 equals V2 divided by T2. Let's identify 
identify the different variables. V1 is going to be the 4.73 liters, liters being the volume. And T1 is going to be a 35 degrees Celsius. But wait, there's more. We need to convert that 35 degrees Celsius to Kelvin. Celsius or 73 Kelvin. And your V2 is unknown, so that's what we're going to solve for. So after plugging in all our variables, the V1, the T1, and the T2, we're going to need to solve for V2. To do that, to multiply both sides by 273. Times of 4.73 times 